start this off with a good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the Waitley's 250th Absolutely. birthday good afternoon, parade. everyone, and welcome. Culmination of many days of celebration. And thank you all for coming out to support us. John, I think that that's uh, Sergeant Bates driving the police cruisers this afternoon. Yes, sir, I do believe so. And the police are followed by <laughs> members of the Hail Clap Post 3295 Veterans of Foreign Wars. Presenting the colors is the Honor Guard, composed of Alan Thackeray carrying the American flag, Roger Huard carrying the Hail Clap Post flag, Roger Gaucher, color guard, and Terence Halbach, color guard. Immediately behind them is past post commander Rachel Otto in the red Jeep with Connor. And Vincent Sarno driving the red Jeep truck with Quinton Dawson. And then behind and them we have J J.D. Ross and his son Jake driving the John. yellow Thunderbird. John. 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 Sorry. And Post Commander Ray Belisle and his wife Teresa in the gray Mustang. What number camera am I? You're number one. Two. Wheatley's first fire truck, driven today by Deputy Chief Keith Bardwell, who's also our highway superintendent. And joining Keith on the truck is the boss man, Chief John Hannum. A 1929 Model A restored to this beautiful condition. Wheatley Select Board is passing us next. Fred Barron, Joyce Palmer Fortune, and Juliana Julie Wagner are riding. Following close behind, the Honorable James McGovern, our district member of the House of Representatives in Washington, and state representative, the Honorable Natalie Blay. <laughs> Whaley celebrated its bicentennial in 71. The princess and her court were Veronica Korpieski, Jane Zykowski, Vicki Daniels, Mary Baronis, and Diane Helstowski. Today we've got Mary Baronis Hannum and Jane Zykowski Bonish. <laughs> And uh, Waitley Congregational Church, the 1934 street rod driven by Jack Cooper. Hi, Phil. How are you? Phil Gilmore, Smokey Bear, has joined us from the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. That's Smokey in his Jeep, followed by a Type 6 wildland fire engine and a Type 5 wildland fire tanker. Thanks to Phil Gilmore, fire warden, for bringing Smokey and his friends to us today. Thank you, DCR. Waitley Grange, up next. Grange members are driving by us with the three-tier anniversary cake designed and made by Grange members. And for those of you who can't read it, it does say in memory of Virginia Alice. She recently yeah, passed. I'm trying to slow him down too. Neil Abram, representing the Waitley Historical Society, pickup truck with the famous Waitley milk bottle, partially empty at this point. This yeah, I'm, I'm slowing him down if I can here. Probably. And more from the Historical Society, pulled by a tractor from Belder Farm of Wheatley. You can see some of the things that made Wheatley famous in its history.
Cindy Steiner is next, our Waitley librarian, uh, with her husband Steve and son Jack, rep representing the S. White Dickinson Memorial Library, which is right behind us, as you can see. Next up, we have representatives from the Massachusetts State Police. Jump in any time. Oh. <laughs> That's the only information I had on that. Yep. Yeah, that's Division One is done. All right, so here we come. Uh, starting off Division Two, we have the Waitley engine number four, driven by Dylan Uvdenitis. And in the passenger seat, we have Jack LaSalle. Next up is the Chester Fife and Drum Corps from Chester, Connecticut. You can relax and be entertained by them as they pass by. Among the beautiful farms that dot the Waitley landscape is Norris Farms, today represented by a float pulled by a beefy 8245 John Deere. On the float are strawberry plants and flats of sweet strawberries from Norse Farms. Coming up next, here's our contingent from the South Deerfield Fire Department, our neighbors to the north. Chief William Bill Swayze is in charge. This is their antique engine number two. Beautifully restored truck. Followed by their engine number one, and their pumper. Behind that is their heavy rescue truck, rescue number one. Coming up next is a truck representing Kevin Camosa Construction and Trucking, driven by Robert Thayer, I believe. I'll let you do this one, John. It's close to your heart. For those of you that don't know, this is John's Maple Float coming up, uh, owned and run by Chief John H Hannum. Uh, I believe that is my brother, Christopher Hannum, driving the truck. No, is it Chris nope. or is it Todd Sanford? Oh, no, that's, that's Todd, Todd Sanford. Sanford. Can't see through the glare on the glass. Hi, Todd. That's a replica of John Sugar House, which is just up the street, a couple of houses. Right next to the, the real milk bottle. Yes. All right, so this next coming up, we have Ashfield Ashfield. Fire. This is their tanker, uh, their pumper tanker number two. Asheville Chief is Kyle Walker. <laughs> Underground Supplies, 2021K 
Kenworth crane truck is first in line. Followed, followed closely by their international flatbed, driven by Skip Goodrich. Longtime Waitley Elementary School teacher Jim Balunas is driving his 1930 Ford Model A Deluxe Roadster, built between 1930 and 31. Jim tells us that the standard equipment for the Model A included a side-mounted spare, uh, leather seats, olive drab colored top with matching side curtains, something you didn't get on every Roadster. And here comes Eddie Foreman Band. Here we go, and after them, we have Sunderland Fire Department and their number two engine. And behind that, we have Brandon Savine driving our very own brush number one. Dalton DeForest is ably assisting Brandon in the brush truck today. And coming up next are the Melha Shriners. And uh, Springfield Hospital Float, the Highlanders Pipe and Drum Band, the Melha Clowns, the Oriental Band, Legion of Honor, Vintage Autos, Melha Riders, Motorcycle and Mini Choppers. There's a lot. They're the rest of this entire division. Welcome Melha Shriners. John Greaves, the commander of the Melha, Legion of Honor. Oh, wow. No, not with, not with me. I'm okay right now. I'm just, my shoulders are just cramping up. Here we go. We have Jeffrey, Hastings. Hastings. Jeffrey A. Hastings, the 2022 potentate. And looks like we've got the Highlanders Pipe and Drum Band. Shriners Hospital for Children float. Welcome. Now it looks like we got a couple of some clowns coming up. A clown Tom. on a mini bike. What could go wrong? Have a great day. You have a great day too. I have a great day every day. That's good. from the Melha Shriners. 
looks like a whole assortment of muscle cars. Yes. Nothing like a Corvette, Mustang. Another Corvette, another Mustang. John, I don't know about you, but I think riding in one of these muscle cars would be a lot easier than carrying the drum all the way down a long plain road. Uh, as a former drummer, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Another Corvette, a beautiful red Mustang. Beautiful Chevy. Oh, here we go. The, here comes the bike core coming up. Oh, looks like we're going to get a show, folks. All right. What do you think, John? Do you think uh, Chief Savini would let us uh, grab one of those and drive it through town a few times? Hey, I'm all for it. Uh-oh. Think... What do we got to the left there, John? I think our local police department would have a tough time catching on one of those. Yeah. The Haji go karts. They look like they're having a lot of fun, John. That's the way I'd want to go through a parade. Yeah. I don't know as I'd be able to squeeze into one of these trucks. Yeah. But. It'd be something to drive around town in. These are monster trucks for running over matchbox cars, right? Uh-huh. Look at the mini rigs coming, John. The semis. There we go. And a mini Peter Pan bus as well. Peter Pan bus. Well, look at this. Oh my goodness. That looks like fun, John. Maybe they'll let us take a ride on one. Well, I was thinking we might have to pack them down after the parade. They are having a lot of fun. Hey, if you're going to be in a parade, you should have fun, right? Yep. That is quite the rig with the rig. That is a nice rig. I bet you're not having as much fun as they are.
Nice wheelies, guys. And here we are, the very end of our uh, Melha Shriners per yep. portion of the parade. Beautiful vehicle. Melha Shriners, uh, illustrious potentate William J. Faust in 2014. Here we go. We back to our lovely fire department. Driving engine number two is Alex Ross. With a sign that says Happy Birthday, Waitley and Susan Nelson. North County line dancers are next. Great music. Some line dancing on the back of the flatbed. They're having a great time on the flatbed pulled by that beautiful Brockway truck. Conway Fire is coming now, John. This is their brush truck? Uh, yep. So it's a little more dated than our brush truck, but you know, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll let them go with that. Absolutely. That one looks like it get get just about anywhere, John. Oh, absolutely. Nothing like an old fashioned engine truck two. to get everywhere. Conway's engine two is next. And here comes their tanker one. Sunderland Congregational Church shows us now a replica of the first Congregational Church from Sunderland, which they built for their 350th anniversary. It's four feet wide, eight feet long, stands nine feet tall at the tip of the steeple. Huzzah. Deerfield Fire. Their engine number two. Engine two. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Poplar Hill Farm. Looks like Tommy Mahar driving the 1086 International. Got a nice red fleet there, Tom. Cottonwood is next. Now, how about we sit back and listen to some tunes from Cottonwood featuring John Corbett. And I believe it's John Corbett's birthday today, so happy birthday, John. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday. Here we go with and Jill Tucker with their 1927 antique fire truck. Nineteen twenty-seven. 
Mountain View Power Equipment of Whaley is up now. Owner Gary Gripko is driving his John Deere Gator, towing his trailer, <laughs> celebrating the birthday of the town with some really, an antique rototiller and a much newer snowblower in the front. Williamsburg's next. We have the town of Williamsburg and their engine number one. Chief Jason Connell. And here comes the Western Mass Model A Restorers Club, founded in 1961. Bob and Teresa Menko in their 1930 Model A Coupe, followed by their son Joe in the 1931 Model AA Ford Doodlebug. And here comes a mail truck, a 1931 Model A, driven by Richard Bukowski of Hadley. And a 1930 Model A Huckster truck driven by Rich, Richard Gerden of Sunderland. And we got a 1930 Model A Sport Coupe driven by Ed Gajewski and Jackie, passenger from Granby, Mass. This is a Model A Ford Tudor driven by Tom Walder of Bondsville. Hello, Tom. And a 1928 Model A Roadster driven by Ken Costick and Linda Costick, passenger of South Hadley. Hello to the Costicks. And a 29 Model A Ford Tudor sedan driven by Raymond LeQuinn of Chesterfield. And here we are, Waitley engine number three driven by Lieutenant Jason Clemens. Got the air conditioner on? The Sami Farms, just up the road, a little bit, has this nice display on their truck, part of the Native Plant Trust. A little bit of history on the Sami is that the Welcome to name Sami was Farms. actually uh, a combination of the three children's names Nathaniel, Sarah, and Michelle. That's correct, yep. Hatfield Fire. Yeah. Chief Robert Flaherty. Their engine number engine three. Number three. And here they come with their behind that with their mustard truck. Yeah, 1929 Buffalo. That, as I remember from Mustard Days, was a fast truck. Oh, it still is, from what I recall. It's only been 10 or so years since the last time I saw it. And Joe Scrossi's going by us on a snowmobile. Walter Thayer of Hatfield showing off his 1955 International 300 Utility. Beautiful tractor. All right. Behind them, we have the Waitley Snowmobile Club. Uh, here in the 90 degree heat, it's still hoping for some snow. Beautiful rigs on there, nice machines, nice sleds, some old ones, new ones. Slow down. Slow down. Hey Joe, having fun? Go, Joey. I don't suppose anybody still calls him Joey anymore though, huh? Nice, yeah, he's... Hey guys. We've hey all guys. gotten older, John. Hey. I remember when you were an eighth grader. Hey guys. A few years ago. Hello. Snowmobile Club looks like they're having fun. You guys praying for some snow today? Not going to happen. My wife was just making fun of me because I still had the snow brush in the car. This is a 1939 Ford Coupe. Jim Fox showing it off for us today. What a gorgeous car. I'll let you take the next one, John. Oh, absolutely. So coming up behind that is my uh, my uncle, 
Raymond Baronis in his antique 1937 Buick Coupe Special with my grandmother in the passenger seat, the 93-year-old Do Dorothy Baronis. The Dorothy used to own the White Birch Campgrounds. And in the back seat is my well, Ray, Aunt Lori. Hi, Doris. Dottie. Uh, Ed Kelly has brought us his 1970 Chevrolet antique fire truck. Oh, it's hard for me to say that something in 1970 is an antique. Oh, my. <laughs> that makes me an antique, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. Behind that, we have Heather Scott driving her father's SS Chevy Nova. Nova, yay. In loving memory of David Scott. Hi, Heather. 1955 Chevy, driven by Corky Baldwin. Although I don't ever remember there being a child seat in the back of that SS. Yeah, yeah. Walter's propane. Richie Strykar's at the wheel, I think. Coming up with a little bit of a break there. No, I don't think so. Well, is it, is, is that and uh, May Pekarski going to roar by us in her Challenger. Okay. And bringing up the rear is Molly Gates in her beautiful Shelby. It's interesting because Molly is the tail dragon of today's parade, kind of keeping in the footsteps of her great-grandfather, Frank, who flew 48 missions in B-24 bombers in World War II. And uh, Frank was the tail gunner in the last plane in formation. So he literally was the tail dragon. And uh, he flew 48 missions. The average um, flyer at that time flew 15. So it's quite fitting that Molly's driving for her great-grandfather. And that, my friends, is the end of the parade. Do you know what 250th, there's a word for it? Do you know what it is? I do not. Semi-quincentenary. So we've just celebrated our semi-quincentenary. 50 years. In 50 years, we'll be celebrating our tricentennial. So you're welcome. We'll probably be doing the color that day too. <laughs> and once again, we would like to thank you all for coming out and celebrating the Waitley's 250th anniversary with us. Everyone have a great day.